They say new year, new you. New year, new view. Win this year, this will be your year. As the hours wind down on one year, there's always this sense of renewed hope. You see, we believe that as one year dies away, that in the next year we will fly away up to the next level, but but the truth is that a couple days go by and there you are, still stuck. And all of the fears that have been holding you back, they're still there. All of the anxieties that have kept you bound, they are still there. And even though you know you should be anxious for nothing, you are anxious for everything. Everything God promised you. Everything you believed about yourself. Everything you thought you would be, you are still anxious for it all. But you believed the only thing that should give you hope was a new year. And now one month has passed. And what have you done with it? You see, you don't need a new year to start off fresh. You just need a new day. Every new day is filled with possibilities. But let me tell you something. You intentionally go after changing your life or you will accidentally stay where you've always been. You'll need to do something you've never done to be something you've never been. Because if you always are in your comfort zone, then you will stay comfortably numb, comfortably broken, comfortably lost. And I know those words don't seem to go together, but let's face it. For many of you, being this lost has grown comfortable to you. Being this stuck, this depressed, this sad, this heartbroken, it has just become second nature. And so I'm telling you that if you want to be the phoenix who rises from the ashes, then you have to understand that this day is a gift. And you can only get new views if you're willing to look at life differently. You can only get a new you if you're okay with being the same you who evolves. Can I tell you that there's nothing wrong with you? You are a beautiful person. You have strengths. You have intelligence. You have gifts that are still untapped. And so you think that the key is to become a new you, but the truth is that the you who's been through the war, the you who's been through so many battles, that's the you who's developed the perseverance. And so I challenge you that even if today there are struggles, even if today there are hard moments, consider it pure joy when the trials come. Understand that God can use anything you go, to, go through in your life to help you grow, to shift something in you, to change something in you, to renew your hope. And I know that the entire world around you believes that if you don't do it in the first 30 days, it can't be done. But do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Believe it is possible that you already have everything you need on the inside of you. You see the breath that is moving through your lungs, the blood that is rushing through your veins, they are a gift if you embrace them. 
you are no accident. You are no mistake. And the fact that you are listening to this recording today is no coincidence. I don't know who I'm speaking to right now. But I want you to know you're right where you're supposed to be. Everything you've been through, everything you've lived through, every tear you cried, they're about to push you to another level of your life. But you have to want it. You have to believe you can have it. You have to believe that happiness you know, that happiness that's been so fleeting. And joy that has seemed like just an illusion. And peace that has been robbed from you so many times. What if I told you that peace wasn't really robbed, it was just something you give away every day? I challenge you to take your peace. Take courage in this moment, understanding that if you can just live your best life today, if you can step out of your comfort zone today and do just one or two things for you, if you can try something that you've needed to try, if you can start something that you've needed to start, if you can begin something you've needed to begin, then you're right on track. You're right on track for the you that you seek. You're right on track for the door to be opened because you'll start knocking. You'll be on track for the things that you have seeked to find out in life to be answered because you will finally begin to answer the scary questions. Yes, it's a new year. But the fresh perspective is just a choice. Choose hope today. Choose belief today. Choose faith today. Choose to trust that everything can work together for your good. I'm going to leave the music playing. Just sit and meditate on these words. And if this has spoken to your heart, I ask that you just leave a comment so that we know what to pray for and that we make sure we pray for you.